What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video that nobody on YouTube ever asked for. But uh, on Instagram, it was widely requested that I do a video all about my travel hacks, my travel favorites. I don't really post travel vlogs on YouTube anymore, so you guys probably don't really know when I travel. Unless you follow me on Instagram, I travel a lot, uh, whether it's to like business conferences or seminars or just traveling for fun because my husband and I really, really like to travel. I've been doing a lot of travel in the last like year and a half, especially. And so I am like a very, I don't want to say I'm organized because that's definitely not true, but I'm very particular and I like things to be just so, I'll say this about myself. I don't like to be unprepared. Oh my gosh, do I hate to be unprepared. And traveling has always been a source of anxiety for me not because I'm afraid of flying, not because I'm afraid of airplanes, no, just because I have anxiety about like forgetting something, not having something that I need. Not only am I like the queen of preparation when it comes to travel, even like international travel, but I also feel like I've gotten really good at having a system for like what I really need on my trips and what I don't, how to really pack effectively, especially since I like refuse to check luggage anymore. Just refuse to check luggage. I've heard way too many horror stories of people losing their luggage or even if it, they lose it and get it back it's like it can take like three or four days to get their luggage back and the way I travel sometimes I tr I'm traveling from place to place so like I don't just like go to one location and come back I'll like go to a location fly somewhere else take a train somewhere else and so like yeah I don't know checking luggage stresses me out so I pretty much only ever do carry-on size luggage and you know they like say you're allowed to bring a personal item like a purse so I'm gonna show you guys not only my luggage system which I have chosen for very specific reasons but also some of just like my travel essentials, things that I love that have me traveling way more easy or convenient and just fun for me. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video that nobody asked for except for on Instagram. <laughs> We're not very zoomed out, so I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see this. This is my carry-on luggage. I'm obsessed with it. It says out of office on it, which I think is the cutest thing ever. It's from a company called the Macbeth Collection. I don't know if it's a company or Macbeth Collection by Margaret Josephs. I think I found this at TJ Maxx, and I've also seen it being sold at Kohl's. Not this exact one. They changed the design and it says away we go, and it looks really cheap and corny to me. I've never seen this one in a while and I, I love it. It's white so it's like super cute and then the inside is also super cute if I can get inside of there. Look at that. That like floral striped design. I love it. So cute luggage. Definitely necessary. This is a carry-on size so it's not like a full-on huge piece of luggage. It fits in like the overhead compartments. And then my personal item. When you fly, if you're not familiar with flying or maybe you are, whatever, you know that they allow you to carry on one personal item, right? Even like Spirit Airlines, the lowest of the low when it comes to flight, allows you to bring a carry-on item which is essentially like so that you can bring a purse or like a laptop case. But technically you can bring something that is this size. Like, it doesn't have to just be the small purse. I think the dimension limitations for every airline, it's similar, they're slightly different, but this is a bag that fits pretty much every single airline that I've come across, the dimensions anyway. And so this is by a brand called... Dagny Dover? Da There's someone's gonna know how to say that the proper way, but I'm gonna call it Dagny Dover. 100% sure that's not how you say it for real, but I like this bag for a very specific reason. This right here, this little sleeve right here allows me on my luggage to pull this up and slide that on like this so that when I'm, um, oh, my luggage is open so it's hard to see, but do you see how convenient that is? Just like, oh, I'm strolling around the airport with my luggage staying all in one piece as opposed to having like this over my shoulder or like flopping off the top of my bag because normally I have brought bags that looked like this and I would just set that on top like this and try to roll around like this but as you can see like super easy for this to just slide off the top of the suitcase annoying me really badly <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've been in airports trying to scoot along the airport with my bag just on top and me holding it like this. I'm moving fast because I walk fast everywhere. I'm even talking fast. And then my bag just be sliding off the side and like it's heavy so like it slides off and it like slows me down and <sighs> listen. I'm a person who doesn't like irritations. That's probably an obvious statement, but like if you know me, then you know when something irritates me, I can't just like be chill about it. I freak out. I was in Europe with my business manager, Lizzie. We moved around so much in that trip. Like we went 
to Rome and then to Positano, the Amalfi Coast, and then back to Rome. And so we were like shuttling around with our suitcases a ton. Every time we were trying to scoot from place to place in like the train station and my bag would slip off the edge, she always knew because I'd be behind her like, Ugh! <laughs> yeah. So, highly recommend this bag. I forget what it's called, but I'll put a link in the description box. It's the large size. I've not actually used this yet, but I have like a really cheap version of a bag like this. Let me grab it. So here's that. I got this from Amazon for like $15, but it's like, it's extremely thin. This is not gonna stand the test of time, but I got it because it has that little pocket that scoots over your luggage, which I love. I have used this a few times and have been obsessed with it. Super duper love it. I just wanted something higher quality since I travel so much and I knew that this super thin bag, like I don't want to put my laptop in here or anything, but this, I mean, it really, you can pack a lot of stuff in there. And that's also what I wanted is I wanted the largest bag possible since I pack like clothes and toiletries and stuff like that in here whenever I travel to really pack as much as possible without having to get a huge piece of luggage. You know what I mean? So this one has lots of pockets, a little laptop sleeve right there. I just like it. It also has a strap so I could wear it like crossbody, which I will sometimes. So love this. I like having my luggage with me. If you're someone like me who's kind of an anxious traveler and is like afraid of feeling unprepared or losing your luggage or something. When I was in Europe, I went for nine days, made everything that I needed for that nine day trip fit in this piece of luggage and a bag this size. So now I'm just convinced that I can travel anywhere <laughs> and be able to keep everything I need in just these two bags. That's just me though. If you like to check luggage and live life on the edge you do you I mean whatever one way that I've been able to really maximize space in these bags is through packing cubes now I talked about this on Instagram multiple times I've told a lot of you guys about this I feel like it maybe even talks about it on YouTube at some point maybe not these packing cubes are super cool because you put your clothes in here they expand I have been able to fit like four or five dresses in here four or five tops a pair of jeans and a few top but then it allows you once you zip it closed to zip it down even further so it really compresses all of your stuff so like a pile of clothes like this can get compressed down quite a bit more I mean that's generous a pile of clothes like this can get compressed down a little bit more for one like this size so I have two this size and one bigger one and all three of these fit in one side of the luggage so it's a perfect fit for carry-on like i said about the other stuff i'll leave links down below for everything that you guys can get and i swear i'm able to fit so many more clothes in my luggage by using packing cubes i will say the best thing to use in here is going to be like really thin delicate clothing so like things with like really thin materials a bunch of like thick sweaters and jeans those are not going to really compress that much but like thin dresses thin tops which when I travel I tend to just bring a lot of those pieces anyway because they travel really well and it's it's easy to really get a lot of that in this will make a huge difference and you'll be able to fit a ton into your luggage on to some other random travel favorites this is not new to anybody these like plastic airline liquids bags like you can buy these at CVS or the drugstore I've seen them all over but I never really got one for myself I always just went to the grocery store and picked up those plastic like literally Ziploc bags that were for airlines but I just decided to like go on Amazon and get an actual nice plastic bag for all of my liquids I feel like I fit a lot more in here and it doesn't like I feel like with the Ziploc plastic bag sometimes it would stretch or rip a hole in it if I'm trying to put too much in there so I really like this it's just a really nice thing to have to travel with with to store all your liquids in because again when I'm traveling with just carry-on luggage and I'm not checking anything everything I travel with has to fit in this bag or every liquid that I travel with has to fit in this bag makeup primer in here perfume face moisturizer hand sanitizer hairspray hair volumizer like I have a lot of liquids that I travel with because I am a high maintenance woman <laughs> So this gets filled really quickly and I kept finding that I was having to like leave stuff behind that I didn't want to leave behind like dry shampoo or certain products that I really wanted to have. So I started looking into like, okay, what hair products and makeup products that normally come in a liquid can I actually get in a solid? And so two things that really used to take up a huge amount of space in my bag were foundation, liquid foundation, especially since I'm super extra and I have two shades of every foundation that I own to kind of like color correct and like mix my own perfect color of my foundation, super extra, I'm aware. But also shampoo and conditioner. That always took up a ton of space in that liquids bag. So when I was going to Europe and I knew, all right, not checking luggage, so I gotta figure out what to do here, 
I looked into bar shampoo and conditioner. Now, I didn't even know if these were like a thing at all before I looked it up. I just was like, is there such a thing as bar shampoo and conditioner? There is, and it's amazing. At least by this brand, which I think is called Ethic or Ethic, I'm not entirely sure, but super like environmentally friendly, made with really, really healthy materials, just really, really awesome products to begin with. I bought a sampler from Ethic, which I'm gonna try and open this to show you guys. I bought a sampler from them just to try and I brought it to Europe and holy cow, I love. So hard to imagine using this on your hair, but literally you get your hair wet and you just swipe it down your hair quite a few times. Like they said you only have to do it a few times since I have a lot of hair. I found that I was having to do it a lot, but I, oh my gosh, it's probably the best shampoo and conditioner I feel like I've ever used in my life. This is the shampoo. This is the Frizz Wrangler. It's a shampoo bar for dry or frizzy hair. And then this, the Guardian is solid conditioner for dry hair as well. So since I have extensions, they definitely do get a little bit more dry, but yeah, this makes my hair so smooth, so soft, and like I have the best hair days of my life when I use this stuff. So not only is it convenient for travel, but it's really ethically produced, I believe, and environmentally friendly for sure. And I don't have to pack it in my liquids container bag, or if I'm supposed to, I haven't been, and no one has stopped me, so. The stick foundation that I use is the Makeup Forever. Like I told you, I get two shades <laughs> for every foundation that I own, which may seem super extra, but like honestly, my foundation always matches my neck, so it's worth it. <laughs> But yeah, I used to make it forever eight ultra HD foundation stick. This is a pretty medium to full coverage I would say I would definitely say this foundation is more for drier skin, which is fine with me It seems like a lot of the places I travel end up having a slightly different climate. Okay, Vegas Vegas has a slightly different climate Vegas is super dry because it's the desert So I'm always really grateful that I bring these foundation sticks when I go to Vegas, especially because yeah, it's just, it's a nice kind of like dewy foundation. Not super dewy, but bottom line, I needed stick foundation. This is stick foundation and it works really well on my skin. Looks really, really nice. So yeah, I use this and I don't have to bring liquid foundation. All right, now I'm just gonna show you guys some like travel basics, things that I travel with that I just love traveling with and it makes travel super convenient for me and that I don't run into typical problems that I find I run into while traveling. First of all, this portable phone battery, or actually I guess you could probably charge multiple things in this but I use it for my phone this is a power bank I got it from Amazon for I want to say less than $30 I like this because when I'm traveling in airports like long plane rides I don't know if you've ever noticed this but the plugs in planes if you even get one seem to be so low the amount of electricity coming through it basically allows my phone to stay alive it doesn't seem to charge it it's like it just prevents the battery from dropping too much so I wanted to get my own power bank so that I could wherever I'm at if I'm on a flight that doesn't have anywhere to charge my phone or if I'm in an airport and I can't like find a plug to charge my phone in seems to be really hard to find those sometimes I have a power bank so I can charge it and also because I'm super neurotic you guys I just hate having a dead phone it feels really unsafe to me being in some place that's not home and I don't have a phone I don't know why that feels unsafe it just feels unsafe this is so slim I like to just keep this in my purse when I'm just like walking around and about I will just have my phone plugged into this so that my phone never dies and so highly recommend a power bank and also the trip I'm going to this upcoming Sunday is to Tulum Mexico and the place that I'm staying at in the area they've already warned us that like oh sometimes there's just no electricity and <laughs> sometimes the power's just turned off. There's nothing we can do about that. I don't know if it's because Tulum is still kind of developing or what the case is, but I am happy to know that even if I have to sit in the dark, I will at least have a charged phone because of my power bank. Another travel favorite is, this is super dirty, but whatever, my makeup case. I, I mean, makeup cases are not that, you know, whatever, carry your makeup in whatever you like. The reason I really like this primarily, is not just for the nice little spots for all my makeup and it's like a square shape so it packs into my luggage really conveniently. I like that it has this hanger so that I can have this hanging on the door of the hotel bathroom or the Airbnb bathroom. I hate taking up all the counter space at hotels. I feel like the hotels and Airbnbs often have really small counter spaces and I hate having all of my makeup just spread all over. So I like having this makeup bag that has a little thing so I can just keep it on the doorknob. I think I got this from maybe FabFitFun, but I've seen stuff like this in TJ Maxx and Target and stuff like that. Weird things that I'm always prepared for. Blisters and everything being disgusting. I also normally travel with antibacterial wipes, both for my hands and for like tabletops and surfaces. I know 
it's extra, but it's cold and flu season, my friends, and I'm not coming home with the flu or the coronavirus. But seriously, two things that always seem to happen when I go on vacation. One, blisters. No matter what kind of shoe I bring, I end up doing a ton of walking, and even with my most comfy shoes, I end up getting blisters. The other thing that ends up happening is I come home sick. Not always, especially since I've like really upped my ability to like do this to myself, like live off of hand sanitizer. Planes are dirty. They don't clean planes. Did you know that? They like don't clean planes. They just kind of sweep out the garbage and let people go onto the plane. So when I'm on the plane, I like to kind of wipe down my area. I know it's so extra. I'm, I'm a germaphobe. I don't know if any of you guys are like super germaphobes. I am a germaphobe. I wash my hands constantly. So I also have hand sanitizer because airports are disgusting. Everything in the world is disgusting. It's just how I live my life. But also I have these little blister things that you put over a blister and it kind of shelters it from like your shoe or anything like that. And then also these band-aids for blisters um, because band-aids can really help with blisters. Also, I swear every time I go on vacation, I always need a band-aid for something. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Do I get hurt more than most people in this world? I don't know. A random other thing that's probably super over the top to have, I take earplugs with me whenever I travel because I've been in way too many hotels and Airbnbs in a loud area or near a club or something and I feel like I can't sleep because it's too noisy. <sighs> A pet peeve so I literally I bring earplugs whenever I travel. I also bring all of my vitamins in this like super grandma ish little pill container. Got this from Amazon. I don't like to come back from vacation feeling like you know how you can feel after a week of vacation and like vacation food and like not drink enough water. So I make sure I'm still like taking all of my probiotic and my multivitamins and my fish oil and anything that I take. I like to keep that going while I'm on vacation because I like to feel my best on vacation. I also, this is, is this extra? I want to know how extra my packing is according to you. But I bring a steamer on vacation because again, I like to bring really thin fabrics so I can pack more clothes in my luggage and thin fabrics always get really, really wrinkled. So I have a steamer so that I can get rid of those wrinkles. And not every hotel has an iron and irons are not great for those like really fine fabrics. So I bring a steamer. All right. One of the last things I think I'm going to show you guys. So this is like a two in one straightener. This part is a straightener and you press this little button and this part is a curling iron. I think this is about a one and a half inch curling iron. Maybe one and three quarters. I think one and a half inch. I love this thing. I also love that. That's really nice for when I'm curling, having that plastic piece at the end. But I love this thing. I like just not having to bring a straightener and a curling iron because I'm somebody who uses both on my hair pretty regularly. I also love that this is dual voltage, which I know is not normally a huge issue anymore for people, but I have definitely heard horror stories from you guys about how you went to another country, especially Europe, and like plugged in one of your appliances, like a hair dryer or a curling iron and then it got fried because the voltage that comes out of European outlets is like double what comes out of United States outlets I think don't quote me on that so this is dual voltage so it can take the European outlets <laughs> I just love this thing because it's a two-in-one and it's like easy to travel with just this one thing so yeah got this from Amazon like pretty much everything else I own and I really like it I feel like I probably have some travel tips my biggest travel tip is to just like wash your hands and drink water okay like <laughs> You're eating food that's not your norm. You're drinking probably on vacation. You're possibly in different climates, uh, out in the sun. Drink a lot of water, guys. It just, just promise me you're gonna drink a lot of water. That's my travel tip, drink water. And use hand sanitizer, the world is disgusting. This was a super chaotic video with like chaotic energy and I apologize for that, but like I'm trying to pack and work and get ready for a dinner I have tonight. It's just a chaotic place in my life in my world today. So I hope that you liked this video. I hope that this was helpful for you. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else that I wanted to show you guys that I bring that's like helpful and important, but those are the big things. I feel like the things I've showed you have really helped me feel prepared, not sick, and have really helped me save uh, space on luggage, save money on not having to check bags. And yeah, I guess that's all I've got. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back with normal Lynette content soon. And yeah, bye guys.